Good morning guys, welcome to the 12th of Vlogmas. Get ready for the jingle. So this morning, I'm up super early. I'm like doing circles around the kitchen. I don't know why, I'm feeling a bit restless. Um, yeah, I woke up at 5.45 this morning. I'm heading down to London actually for um, a kind of like fun Christmas shopping day, but I'm also filming it for a real time haul, which puts pressure on guys. <laughs> I love these real time hauls and I really love that you guys love them. But actually, the problem is if you don't find anything, you've like wasted a whole video. So I'm going Christmas shopping today and I'm gonna film it. I'm also vlogging, so I'm gonna try and work out how I do that, um, and I'm filming another video. So I'm heading off early. It is now seven o'clock, and I'm all ready to go. I'm putting my boots on. Let's do this. Also, it's actually quite creepy waking up this early at this time of year, because I had to come downstairs by myself in the dark and turn all the lights on. I had to be very brave. It's scary. 5.45 is not a good time to wake up. You know what moving house means, guys? new train station there's not even a shop at this train station or a coffee machine sad times no coffee for me it's also really cold and my train is a bit late I made it to London I've just got to the flat I'm dropping my stuff off and I'm heading off to crack this Christmas shopping this is gonna be my last Christmas shopping day before Christmas I think so I've got to get stuff for most of my family and a load of friends mainly boys Mainly boys, but like I said, I'm gonna do a real-time shopping haul. If you want to see the actual shopping bits and what I get, you're gonna to have to go and watch the real-time shopping haul, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Doing that and vlogging on the same day is actually quite tricky to know, like, what to vlog. We're gonna do this. I feel like that stupid person as well today that wore a leather jacket when it's really cold and it's really a coat day and everyone else is like wrapped up in massive winter coats and hats and scarves and everything and there's me looking like a plonker and freezing my tits off in my leather jacket. Idiot. I'm filming my what's in my bag video right now and this is gonna be actually on the video whilst I'm filming so yep, just thought I would update you. That is all for now. So I've just finished filming three videos that are going up over the next week. I'm feeling super zonked now and starting to really feel the effects of waking up at 5.45, I have to say. But I've packed up all of my goodies. I managed to fit most of the presents I bought in my suitcase, um, which was pretty much empty on the way here this morning. And I'm headed home to see MDF, who has just told me he's cooking me dinner, which I'm very excited about. That is all for now. <laughs> I feel like I'm a zombie today, seriously, guys. Today's vlog is gonna be mainly Fleur being a zombie. Yeah. I've just got back um, in my car from the train and I had to do a little vlog because I'm so outraged and I feel like I couldn't vocalize it on the train. I was being held back by British shyness, but somebody next to me was clipping their fingernails on the train and just dropping them on the floor oh my god has anyone ever experienced anything like this before i just tweeted about it and i feel like a few people are like oh my god i see people do that all the time i'm like that is not normal that is not normal and it's disgusting hello socially unacceptable it could only be made worse by the fact it might have been her toenails which would have been disgusting but seriously who clips their nails on the train like what what my brain was like seriously imploding i was like oh my god oh my god i've got to say something i'm gonna be sick this is so disgusting and i'm not like easily grossed out but that's just not like, why? I mean, there are better times to clip your nails than on the train, really. In the bathroom? I mean, in your garden? Somewhere where you're not gonna get gross nail clippings everywhere in a public place. And other people might like sit on them and get them attached to their clothes and stuff. Anyway, she was disgusting. I gave her a very dirty look before I got off the train, but I was too shy to say anything. Um, I'm now heading home to Mike. It's ten past eight and <laughs> that is a lot of update I have for now. My phone's been dinging. I want to know who's messaging me. Oh my goodness guys, just stepped back through the door. Look what is waiting for me. My bag from Tanzania. Woohoo! Ten days later. Let's hope everything is inside. But first, dinner. Check this out as something to come home to. Thanks MDF and he's playing Regina Spector's new album. Very excited to hear that. I used to love Regina Spector. Well, I still do, but 
like I haven't heard anything new from her for she released anything new for a long time. No. Currently sat with my favourite people catching up on The Walking Dead. We haven't watched The Walking Dead in Donkeys. way too long. We are so behind. We have so much to catch up on. So we're having a Walking Dead marathon and I'm loving it. This one is saying that we have to go to bed. So me and Piggy here disagree. We think we should be able to stay here all night and snuggle. Or Piggy should be able to come and sleep in upstairs. No. Yes, that's a good plan. Oh, it's such a good plan, Piggy. Such a good plan. Look at this dog. Come on. Oh, that's it. She's so cuddly. No, don't take her away. Oh, no. yeah. I love you, Piggy. I oh, love you. I she's love cool. you. Oh. you are a mean person. I mean, she's very happy to be cuddling me right now. Meanie. Until she realizes it's time. Yeah, to she's going to bed. I love you, Pookie. He did it to you, not me. Squidge is staying here with me, aren't you, Squidge? Come on, you two. Oh, no. They're all going. Treacle. Come on. Treacle. Treacle wants to stay. Come on. Oh, no. 